Well, thanks for joining me again in my shop. And we're going to carry on now with the record player that goes with the uh, Coronet console. And the problem with this record player, it's not the mechanics. Usually it's the mechanics, but the mechanics in this is really good. The problem is the original cartridge here is a dud. And that's not surprising at all. Uh, these things only last so long even if they're not being used. So this guy's got no output. But I happen to have a replacement. Right here. Right, this is brand new. This is not new old stock. Let me get the... Okay, it has its own clip, but it's an identical replacement or isn't may not be so what I'm looking at let's put this on, on close up and I'll show you the things you gotta look for So th this clip right here, there's one inside the uh, inside here yeah, that goes with the original cartridge. And the question is, can we just clip the new cartridge in? And I'm not just going to run in there and try it. I'd rather take a closer look. So we'll take the old cartridge. I can't damage this. It's shot anyway. We'll take the new clip and see if we can put the old cartridge on the new clip. And that's going to give us a hint as to whether we can put the new cartridge on the old clip. And I think the answer right away is no. We cannot. Because it does not... Am I showing this well? <laughs> Maybe I'm not showing this. Because this does not grab there. If we look at the new, the new one, the new one has a smaller tab and this will grab right on it. So we're going to have to install this clip and take the one out that's in there. And that introduces quite a challenge. On this turntable, the challenge is we can only raise this this high. I gotta work up under here. How am I, how am I gonna do that? I can't get tools in. I can't see. So it's really important to figure out a way to get access to this. Now earlier I had taken out the screw that's holding the head shell on. could not get the head shell off, but I'm giving it a, a better try this time. Oh boy. You know, look at that. I just rotated it. Hey, be smart. Don't take it off. Just rotate it up. <laughs> That's using my kidney. Okay, so we just have to change this clip here. Let me reset my uh, other camera so you can get a good view of this. Exciting effort here. Fix the focus. Okay. There it is. So now that I have this turned up this way, it's going to be easy to do this work. Before I twisted this, what I had in my mind was turning the whole turntable upside down and fooling around to try to get access to this directly. This is a lot better. So let's take it out of there. What you can do here is loosen one screw and remove the other. And that's usually enough to get this out. So that's out with the old, now in with the new. Maybe I gotta take the screw out in the end. So when you're buying replacement cartridges for this kind of turntable, Make sure you buy one that comes with its own clip. So uh, I'm not trying to sell these or anything. This one is a Varco, uh, a company that makes cartridges these days. I think this is like a medium quality one. It's not really, really expensive. Uh, but it'll certainly work fine. Way better than the one that was in there, that's for sure. So now where'd the other screw go? Whoop, whoop. 
can I do with the other screw? How do I get way over there? That can't be it. Well, for crying out loud. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Still inside here. I want to drop this. It's so small. Now, these screws are critical. They're the right length. They can't be too long. You don't want to lose these screws. Okay, let's see if we can get it in there. There we go. Easy as that. Just make sure it's snugged up so that it won't come loose. Now, what about the angle of it? The angle looks a little funny, but I can't really adjust it. Looks to me like it's on a bit of an angle that way, as opposed to straight. It's a tiny amount though, it's not going to matter. Oh, oh, I got it straight. There it is straight now. <laughs> yeah, when I say it's not going to matter, on a high, really high quality stereo, this is a medium, medium quality stereo. Um, you can get real finicky about all this kind of stuff when you're setting up these cartridges. I'm gonna put the hey. <laughs> There's the cartridge. Now, good question. Should we attach the wires first and then put the cartridge in? I think so. Now, how do those wires go on? <sighs> there is a color code. There is a color code, and I tend to forget this all the time. So I think it's red and white are the signal wires, and green and black are the ground. Green and red go together, black and white go together. And now, which one of these is which? Hey, it says, it says right on it there. Can we possibly read it? Let me just zoom way up here. Okay. I gotta be a little bit careful now. I got the needle on this thing, so I don't want to catch the needle on anything. I see the L for left. I see the R for right. And I'm going to guess the two closer pins at the top are the grounds. Oh, which one's right? Is it the red one? Nobody knows they're left from right anyway. When was the last time you heard anybody listening to a stereo and go, Hey, I'm supposed to come out of the other channel. Oh, I just put it on the ground, didn't I? So we'll put the signal on the signal one. Hope I got this right. We'll put the ground one. These are, these are beautifully done... Uh, clips, by the way. Put the shrink sleeve on them here and that. It's really nicely done. Put that on there. Put the black one on here. Ooh. Put the white one on here. Oh my god, it's out of focus for you. I'm so sorry. Hey, live TV, what can you do? Get this on here. Come on, on you go. There it goes. Perfect. Because this is a virtually identical replacement, I would expect it to uh, 
all fit on there really nicely. Now, where are those wires supposed to go? They're just hanging out on the top here. It was kind of jammed together, if I remember right. Jammed in there pretty tight. Uh, can he do it? Put... They're nicely done, but they're too big. Okay, now all this forcing, I gotta really think hard or I'll do something bad. Anytime you feel yourself, you know, using your muscles to squeeze stuff, move stuff. And think hard about what happens if something slips. So I want two of these to go below and two to go above. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. It doesn't look good to me. Because like I said, I did notice this was jammed pretty badly in here. I don't expect this is any longer. Not any longer of a cartridge than the last one. The last one was in here. I don't know, man. Just give it a bit of brutality here. I don't want to break the uh, clip I've put in. Oh, you know, I didn't even have the. Uh, oh, I didn't have the cartridge set low enough at the back there. Hey, it's in. All wires out. It's in. It's good though. Twist this back. Hopefully nothing bad will happen during that process. Oh, boy. Hmm. Don't like it. Ah, I knocked up the car. Okay, got that back. Whew. A little worried about that. Pop the cartridge back in. I'm surprised it fell out. These are usually locked in there pretty good. Now I can't see what I'm doing. Ah. See, I don't think the back clip is actually connecting reaching up high enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the needle. Uh, much less likely to damage the cartridge than the needle while I'm doing this because cause it's getting ugly. I think I got it. No. No. See the back just pop up? I don't want to rotate the head shell again. But I have to. Every time you do this, it gets a little easier anyway. A little less risky. Okay. Now, you got to go down. far enough to reach the clip holder. The clip holder. Let's see what's going on here. is anywhere near. Wow, it really looks like it's part way into the... Okay, I 
think I know what I can do here. I think I know what I can do. I can kind of bend the wires up a little bit. So they interfere even less with the... Uh, see, there's one that's gone down in, and I think when they go down in like that... They stop the cartridge from going further, I think. Okay, so now... Maybe I'll do, the, I'll set, I'll do it backwards. I'll set the cartridge at the front here and then try to depress the back into its clip. This is not the way to do it. I don't like that idea. Not that idea sucks. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll dump that idea. I just can't get a look in there. Let me look, let me look with the magnifier. Yeah, it's great they make all the parts black. Oh, that's way off. Okay. So if I get the cartridge in the right position to fall into place, you have to pull it forward enough that the wire leads on the back fall into the head shell and start interfering with the cartridge going, popping into its final place. So, it's, so I'm going to have to kind of like pull these guys up. Yeah, what did I say before about the, whoever did this did a nice job on it? Yeah. No, I missed it entirely. Okay, what if I just drive that in there? Didn't seem to. I think a little piece of plastic might be. A piece of this uh, rubber is getting in the way, maybe. Or the uh, shrink plastic is what I want to say. Shrink to me. Because it won't seat. It won't seat. Seems plenty clear there. This thing better work once I get it in. That's what I would say. It won't. It won't. Uh, it won't. It won't. I don't think I'm getting it down far enough. And again, all these wires, all this, it's really interfering, so, boy. The simplest of stuff. I think I have to trim away all this excess shrink sleeve here. Boy, that doesn't seem like a fun thing to do. At all. I just trim away the lower ones. I gotta do it. I don't know what else to do here. How am I going to trim that away without cutting a wire? I don't know. Let's pull it off first. Pull off this white one. Oh, boy. And 
These pins uh, come loose at the back of cartridges, either by being worked too many times, or for whatever other reason, they tend to come loose. If you have shrink sleeve over them, there's an extra level of squeeze on them. I'm trying my best not to cut the wire. Don't cut the wire. Don't cut the wire. Don't cut the wire. Okay, there's one. Now I gotta get that little piece out of there because I think it's just gonna cause me trouble if I leave it in there. Come on off of there. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta do the same thing on the red wire. Let's put the white one back on. <sighs> now these wires can only, like any wire, can only take so much and then they'll break. And I'm certainly pushing the uh, envelope here. Silence descends on us. Don't pull on the wire, dummy. That's why you'll break it. I have to pull a bit to see where it's still hanging on. Careful. There it goes. Okay, let's cut it away. Look out. I almost cut the wire there. There we go. <laughs> okay. On with the red wire. Looks like I've exposed a little bit of copper. But there shouldn't be any problem with short circuits. Make sure these are on. Okay, good thing I took the needle out because I think I would have broke it by now. Okay, everybody, cross in your fingers.
those off a little bit. Get a little more clearance in there. Just never know what it is you're going to end up having to fiddle when you do this stuff. Why didn't that want to go in there? Something wrong with this? Okay, so I backed these off. They're no longer inter. They're not in any position to interfere. I should be able to practically drop this straight in. Oh, that's not a good. front yet. There it goes. Now I better push those two connectors back up <laughs> that I pulled back. Can you do that? That one went up. That one went up. So I can hide these wires. It'd be not good to have wires sticking out of here. People to look at. Even drag on the record, that's not any good. There you have it. Half an hour. Well, we certainly have to test this, don't we? We can't stop now. We need to put these in. You want to be careful again. You don't want to flex this point. It's very, very weak right in here on purpose. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing that. I hate doing these things. There it is. Nope, just a little more. Oh, cheapers. I'm not expecting that. Again, this is one of those situations where you're forcing very delicate things. And uh, Does not look like it's all the way in. There, there we got it. Okay, so it's writing in the cradle here. The needle's writing in the cradle. There we are. So that's the LP side. And we'll rotate this again, hoping nothing bad happens at this point. The reason this is hard to rotate is not just a tight fitting, but the screw that goes up in the bottom cut into the metal and uh, distorted it. So it's um, uh, protruding out. Uh, I better take a look with a mirror here before I try this. If the holes aren't lined up, I'll never succeed. There we go. Now I try to put this little tiny screw in there. It so happens with this record player, you can force the arm beyond the edge of the record player to here. Give me 
me access to do that. There it is. Oh, quickly, man, I feel a record coming on. Let's get my uh, stereo going here. in underneath. Let me turn the volume down so I don't scare myself here. And you know what? I have to play Beastie Boys. The reason I gotta play Beastie Boys is I never get a copyright. I played this disco record and I got a copyright hit. Can you believe it? This is an old sticks. Hey, how about <laughs> let's try this. You know what? I, I don't dare. I don't dare try it. Because if I get a copyright hit, it's a big hassle. And, uh, you know, I don't... Beach Boys, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh What's this? This is Disco Heat. Hey, where's my Beastie Boys record? Oh, here, here's, here we go. <laughs> Sing along with the honky tonks. I'll, I'm not going to get a copyright hit on this, I'm sure. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Followed by, I've been working on the railroad. Boy, this is the record I should have been playing. So. Oh, i got to apply some power to this guy. All he's got is this open wire. Hang on. Okay, I think I had to get my cheater cord. wires this time. Okay. Do we need a drum roll? No, there's a drum roll right on the record. The record is the drum roll. Power on. Are we ready? A lot of hum, but I, I don't have a ground wire connected here. Maybe let's just verify that that's all that is. Oh. oh boy, you know what? Oh man, hear that? I'm afraid we're in trouble here. I think this is a uh, magnetic, this is supposed to take a magnetic input. And I've just put a ceramic cartridge on it, which produces like a uh, thousand times the signal strength. Oh, wait a minute, I've got this fed into my own stereo. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, my own stereo is designed for a uh, magnetic cartridge. Um, and I'm gonna... Okay, no problem. We don't know what's gonna happen when it's in the real McCoy. Oh boy, is that... This is gonna definitely be sensitive. So let's see what we can do with about the hum. Nothing so far. There we go. Okay, now. Are you ready? This is released. We'll go on. You know what I can do? I'm going to plug this cartridge into a different input on my stereo. That's what I should do. The uh, output of this cartridge is enough to drive a much less sensitive input, which would be the auxiliary input, rather than the phono input. Just get my wire ready here.
the another thing we will get is uh, potentially very bad um, equalization. I'm not sure about that. So this might sound really tinny from lack of bass on my stereo. And we put it on the proper one, it may sound just fine. It may sound just fine here. Okay, so we'll go on auxiliary. Yep, but nowhere near what it was before. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Wait a minute, I didn't drop the record. Hold it, hold it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's suicide for the needle, by the way. If the thing, if the needle sets down on here, how come it didn't drop the record? It's dropped them before. Whoops. I'll drop it now. Try it again. Okay, wah, 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 come, come on, you were working okay before. I'm just dying to hear the song, too. Well, it's not loose. not moving the dropper. Okay, so we, we do have a little bit of maintenance to do in here. The little rod should come up and slide over and push the record over and make it drop. But, let's not worry about that. Let's just hear this record. I'll just do it by hand. Okay, have a look at this on close up here. Second. Oh wow, they skipped right into I've been working on the railroad just like that. Look at that. Yeah, that needle doesn't look right to me. It, it just seems tipped down too low. Can't see anything again. <laughs> well, I, I don't know how this could be wrong. It's the uh, it's, it all came as a unit.
sure doesn't look right, though. But it is. Anyway, she's working. That's about as far as I can get rid of the moment. The next thing is to be plugging it into the real uh, stereo and to hearing what it really sounds like. So, uh, hey, what other exciting songs are on here? Take me out to the ball game. And all the classics are on here. risk a copyright hit, just in case it's possible. Okay, so there we are. We're uh, ready to go back to the stereo again and uh, deal with the FM uh, problem with the stereo. But uh, turntable, all done.